state threat law watchdog calls for greater transparency from tech giants. I'm going to read into this piece from the Independent, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is reading a link here of an article from The Independent with the headline that the state threat law watchdog calls for a greater transparency from tech giants. Jonathan Hall Casey suggests a new law may be needed to grant greater access to social media data. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share us across social media so others are not fired of this video. Literally just talking about social media on this one, really. Um, this isn't specifically for the UK. This is more of a global thing, guys, because one thing that is a major issue in any kind of electoral interference is the power of social media. Social media, like this right now that you are listening and watching to, has an influence and has can influence you a certain way in a certain direction. I consider the internet to be the wild, wild west because... There very there's little control over it. And when many people rely on social media, like for example, X or TikTok or Facebook or YouTube as their main source of information, it's not really that well regulated, is it? Is it regulated to such an extent that is fair? That's the really question. And when it comes to obviously within within uh, when it comes to newspapers, when it comes to medias and broadcasters, there are, to an extent, regulations and guidelines and sort of thing there. But is there really much scrutiny when it comes, enough scrutiny? Is there enough accountability? Is there enough to ensure protections are needed from people being fall into, for example, election floor, floor for example? The amount of uh, misinformation about the US elections being rigged, stolen and, and whatnot it was countlessly everywhere back in 2020 it where they claimed it everywhere but every single u.s call every single district that it went in and challenged on they all got thrown out because they did not have evidence for it but yeah despite that people still had that mindset that the election in their minds was stolen despite the fact the evidence is there in their faces they refuse to accept and acknowledge that. And that obviously, and this is where I think social media ties into these things, because in the bubbles of social media, you have your own bubble, your own groups, your own sources. Like myself, no, I'm not going no, I'm not going to shy away from the fact that I have my own bubbles of certain YouTubers and outlets that I listen to as well. Not going to lie about that. It's an absolute fundamental truth. But, uh, but is it safe? Should more be done to curb the power of social media? Or perhaps should be more curbing when it comes to internet? I think there is some. there needs to be some more discussion about this. Because it really does have a, a sway on us. Because quite frankly, the algorithms... Do the algorithms really suit our own interests? When it comes to finding videos, finding tweets, finding certain Facebook groups and posts... Or does it suit the interests of the private companies? Well, we know. It's mainly, it suits the interests of the private company. And it tries to feed a narrative to go, go, go you into a thinking a certain way. I do think this is something that's a bit more... Uh, a, a more deeper dive, perhaps, is worth into. But let's have a read into this and see what Jonathan Hall has s s to say on this, guys. So Facebook and X, formerly Twitter should be forced to be more transparent about whether foreign powers are behind posts on their platforms or watchdog has said. So Jonathan Hall Casey, the independent review of state threat legislation, suggested new laws could be required to compel the social media giants to reveal the extent of foreign interference online. The senior lawyer has also called for trials for alleged foreign interference offences under the 2023 National Security Act to be held in an open court beneath the public gaze. Mr Hall said the internet was the perfect forum for foreign interference because it was easy to use and hard to attribute to an overseas actor. I have no reason to doubt that the online world will play an outside role in foreign interference investigations. Even though the general election seems to have passed without sign of disturbance, he told the Royal United Service Institute in London. 
The internet was a cheap and obvious way to persuade, distract and influence. But regulator Ofcom had many priorities and may not be able to police foreign interference online, he warned. Without the power of the internet and the use of social media, there would not have been a lot of tactical voting in the general election. There would not have been a lot of tactical voting to oust the Conservatives. And you do wonder if that tactical voting factor, if that communication that we had with each other on social media, how much different would the map had looked if there wasn't that tactical voting? Because in order to do it, you have many people had to use online. It's not so much of a case of word and mouth, but many, much of it was also online communication as well. I wonder how much that would have been affected, I think is worth asking the question. And the sites were making access to their information far too expensive for civil uh, society organizations to monitor, meaning that tech platforms may ultimately be left to mask their home homework. He wished civil society organizations could have a greater role monitoring the extent of foreign interference from tech companies that are prepared to tolerate on their platforms. And I would welcome legislation requiring much transparency from platforms. Meta, Facebook's company, defending its record, pointing to schemes such as the uh, quarterly advertisable threat reports and tools which are available to qualify non-profit research institutions. Mr. Hall also urged the authorities not to use the National Security Act to hold secret court hearings on allegations of foreign interference. He said that would undermine two of the main arms of the offence, publicly calling out foreign hand and warning citizens against entanglements with overseas powers. He said, given the quality and expenditure of our journalists and the strength of our judicial system, I hope that when foreign interference offences offence comes to be tested, it is tested with an open court beneath the public gaze. There is a power under the National Security Act to exclude the public from criminal proceedings in the interest of national security. And I recognise that such a power is inevitable in a statute designed to combat the foreign hand. But my firm hope is that the public are excluded as little as possible. Interesting words. Uh, in very interesting to say the least. And I do think, yeah, this is, this is a concern. Um, I don't just think this one applies to UK. I think this applies globally because it, the power of social media can really sway people uh, rather than obvious, just as much as it nowadays as it means to just what people read in a newspaper, just what people uh, what people have when they sit, when they're out and about and talking and working with colleagues and and communications there. Obviously, what you see and what you hear in person obviously has an influence as well. But I really do, you know, we look at our phones, we look at our devices a lot more as a society than ever before, and we really do look at things. You know, they said the TikTok is one of the most one of the, one of the main uh, places that people go to when it comes to content, finding news, looking at stuff. Now, TikTok's become that that place. That's why I publish on there as well. But even Instagram, Facebook, and and others obviously have their their ways. And obviously, Twitter uh, X is a very good, powerful uh, social media tool as well. But should there be more accountability? Should there be more looking into that? I wanted to know, let you guys know on that one. But what do you think of Jonathan Hall's words? Would you guys think that should be more greater transparency? What do you guys make of the influence and the holes that social media companies have? Let me know what your thoughts are and more in the comment section down below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.